Here and, it comes. And, oh. and, and, oh. 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 Lucky you avoided us in the draw, bro. Oh, yeah, I know. It would have been awkward, wouldn't it, getting knocked out to your old team? Uh, yeah. Your dreams of Champions League glory mm -hmm. shattered. I don't know how I could have lived with myself. I really don't. Come off it. At least you'll be going up against Terry, though. Come on, papers will love that. Brothers on the same pitch. Yeah. Yeah, going to be pretty special. Oh, uh, that'll be Michael. Taylor. Hey, you want to be careful there, mate. Not exactly got the best track record. Okay? I wouldn't trust him as far as you can throw him. Okay. I mean, what are you? My mum? I'll catch you later, all right? Ah, Michael. Better late than never. Oh, sorry about that. Traffic was dreadful. Where did we land? Uh, yeah, it was good. It was it was an exciting draw. I'll get the door then, shall I? Uh, you know, I always uh, thought Hunter was full go. of it. It reminded me of that kid we were at school with. Fancied himself as a footballer. What was he called? What? Muggers? <laughs> Leave it out. Uh, all the same these wannabes. Remember Muggers used to do like 20 stepovers and then fall over his bootlaces? <laughs> uh, I heard he ended up in non-league, never getting a game. Look, Danny, I, I just had this meeting with this estate agent friend of mine. Right. Found you the perfect house. Four bedrooms, three bathrooms, built in sauna, and a 10% discount. Are you serious? Uh, uh, couldn't you have just sent us a link? Well, you can't live in this place forever, Danny, can you? It's, uh, it's not exactly Premier League standard, is it? It's more like, I don't know, Sunday League, I'd say. A house like that, that'll inspire you, yeah? Send the right message out to the sponsors and the like, yeah? yeah. That you're on the up, that you're going places, yeah? So think about it. I'll call you later, Danny, right? Yeah, 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 will do. Cheers, Michael. What do you think, mate? I mean, it's a bit pricey, but you know, what with those investments you've been making and everything? Three bathrooms? Who needs three bathrooms? I wouldn't be surprised if Taylor's getting a sweetener off this. What? No, Michael wouldn't do that. He's all right. Shifty as if you ask me. Anyway, you've got bigger fish to fry. Like how you're gonna handle Terry in the Champions League. You used to offer you on toast when we were kids. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but we're not kids anymore, are we? <laughs> hey, that's the spirit, Fog. I'm sure it'll be different this time. Hi there, everybody. We're in the east side of London today. Our action comes from the London Stadium. To describe it for you, myself, Martin Tyler, and Alan Smith. In our game today, West Ham United versus Manchester United. On the move and able to cut out the pass. Lovely ball from Matic. Matic! Well, he's put it away brilliantly. That kind of chance has come to him so early in the game. I have to say, he reacted perfectly. Really sharp right from the off. And they've taken the lead here. Well, take another look at this, Alan Smith. You'd have been proud of this one. Well, he timed the jump and he timed the header perfectly. A wonderful example of how to head the ball. Manchester United in the lead. Goal for Manchester United. And uh, Herrera, the shot's off! It's an important part of Pogba's game to add goals from midfield, and he's done the trick this time. There was no time to take an extra touch, I don't think, in those circumstances. So he went for the first time finish. Yeah, and they're difficult for keepers because he doesn't give them a chance to get set. Caught flat-footed there. Shoots! Well, he tried to hit it first time from a good pass, but the shot wasn't good. No, I think it was the right decision to take it on first time, but to be had to get the connection right. Number 10, Manuel Messina. Substitution for Manchester.
I'm saying, Lily, is you keep putting the crosses in and I will keep adding them in, you know? Good to finally see you using your head for something useful. You know, I try, I really do. And what would you say has earned you your transfer to French Giants PSG? Well, strikers all over Europe are scared of me. Because I don't give room to breathe, do you know what I mean? It's all about winning your one-on-ones. And uh, making sure the man you're up against remembers who be you. And how are you feeling about going up against your brother, Danny Williams, in the group stages? Uh, must be a big thing for you. Uh, well, it might be for him. I can't say I care, really. Wow. Once you win one of these, nothing really phases you. Interesting point. Although, if memory serves, you didn't actually play in the final, did you? Well, it was your first season in Italy. I was getting bedded in. But I played a part in getting us there. Don't you worry about that. It's a squad game, man. Do you understand? Anyway, I don't sweat my brother. How is he going to get the better of me? And if you're watching, Danny, I love you, mate. Ooh. Williams? Boss, I was wondering if I could uh, put some extra practice in, you know, work on what the gaffer wanted. Oh, good on you. Well, the pitch is always available. I'm not asking places. about the pitch. I'm uh, <clears throat> wondering if uh, uh, you'd help train me. What was that, Williams? I didn't, uh, didn't quite hear you. I was wondering if you would help train me. Just say when, son. Cool. Nice one. I'll text you the directions. Directions? A warm welcome to our live coverage. I'm Derek Ray with Lee Dixon alongside me in the commentary box. And we're back under the floodlights tonight for keenly awaited Champions League action as the group stage business begins for these two teams. Always an excitement. And attempting the through ball. Marlos. Will there be a tangible end product? Oh, he's through here. Only the keeper to beat. Massa. And now Danny Williams. And a goal it is. The opener in this game. Well, keep it tight. That's what both managers would have been insane. But now the opening goal's gone in. Tactics have got to change. Well, here's the replay. I'm sure the keeper will be looking at his defenders. But what can they do? It's a lovely strike off his laces in the back of the net. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? So, they're playing again. It's Manchester United with the lead here. This is the Mania. He's in with a chance. The ball's on the net for Manchester United. Attack after attack. Sooner or later, they're going to score a goal, Manchester United, and there it is. Well, I just love to look at perfect technique and you won't get any better than this. It's just a dream strike. Brilliant, brilliant effort. It's going their way, 2-0. Manishev on the ball. Oh, goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. And the counter-attack is on, options available. Marcus Rashford. Martial in the middle, and the ball is in the net. The crowd have gone crazy, and quite rightly so. What a finish that is.
Let's have another look at this. He wasn't expecting the ball, but when he comes to him, he chooses early to volley it. What a finish. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Coyote with it. Viktor Komarenko, full time, and Manchester United claim all three points in their opening fixture in the Champions League. Well, it's everything you want from the start of match one. Good, strong start. That result will give everybody confidence, especially the players. Well done. Well, his performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Lee. Well, that was a really, really good performance from the lad, and a goal to boot. Really delighted with that goal, I'm sure he is. First Champions League game for you, Danny. Enjoy the experience. Oh, I am buzzing, mate. The energy inside the stadium, you know, coming from the crowd, the intensity on the pitch. I have never experienced anything like that. Well said, Danny. And good luck in your future Champions League efforts. Oh, yeah, cheers for that, mate. Do you love? Christmas at the Williams. Must be fun. <laughs> A big night at a great venue, the Parc des Princes, here in the French capital, Paris. I'm Derek Ray, and with me here on the commentary position is Lee Dixon. And in the group stage of the Champions League, PSG play host to their chief rivals in this particular section. It's Paris Saint-Germain taking on Manchester United. Well, Derek, both teams got off to a flying start in their opening group match, didn't they? But something has... That's a sumptuous ball from Alexis Sanchez. And here is the initial 11 for Paris Saint-Germain. If you like wingers, you'll love this league. Yeah, absolutely. I love to watch a winger play, especially with pace and power. The central strike will stay more or less in front of the goal. The support will be provided by the three central midfield players. The back four is pretty conventional, but the fullbacks will be asked to support from behind. Thiago Silva's block. And United have the corner. And Mata and Alexis Sanchez. Well, let's see what he has in store for them. And a chance for them to nudge in front. In it goes! And of course, it's Danny Williams. Well, what a moment for the lad. There's been a lot of build-up in this contest between the two brothers. And now Danny has come out on top. Well, you tell youngsters in that position just to hit the target. You can't score unless you do. And on this occasion, he does, and he scores. So they're playing again. It's Manchester United with the lead here. Mbappe with it. Well, regaining. But... And in with a real chance. Only the keeper to beat. And the ball is in the net. The crowd have gone crazy, and quite rightly so. What a finish that is. Well, look at it again. I do question the defenders, but let's give credit to him. What a wonderful solo effort. And he still has the presence of mind to finish it off. What a brilliant solo goal. 
Well, a second goal for them here. Raxler now. Barassi now. John the ball. Philippe Bernard. Oh, a lovely ball. Williams! And the ball is in the net. The crowd have gone crazy, and quite rightly so. What a finish that is. Well, here we see a better angle on it. There's nothing the keeper can do. A significant deflection, and he's beaten. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Terry Williams. This is Neymar. They need some Giovanni now. Ferrati. And dispossessed. And on the ball, Bernard. And showing fine vision. He might be able to make it through. Well, he saw the whites of the keeper's eyes and the whites of his outstretched gloves. Great goalkeeping. Well, he's denied a certain goal there. Great reflexes from the keeper. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. The ball with Valencia. That's it, the final whistle. And it's all smiles from Tally Williams and his teammates. What a performance from the young fellow, Lee. Well, yeah, he's got the most important thing, and that's the three points. He's helped his team. But I'm pretty sure there'll be a little nod and a wink to his brother when he walks over there and shakes his hand. Really big rivalry between the two. And his finishing was superb. He really dominated the game in the end. Played into the center of the box. Playing in the Champions League against your brother. What did it feel like getting the better of him? <laughs> oh, never really had any doubt that we'd win, mate. And old Terry, he's not as quick as he used to be, is he? I mean, catches up with us all sooner or later. Are you saying Terry's past his prime? All I'm saying is that you need to keep an old eye on the sell-by date. Well, I will be sure to ask him what he thinks about that. Oh, we will know what I mean. He'll probably have a laugh about it. I'm sure he will. Thanks. Mm. Popular. <laughs> Aw, you got my good side. Could have shopped out the drool, though. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Still kind of feel like the noob. I think you're doing all right so far. I love Wi-Fi on the plane. What's up? Oh, school. I had to take half my exams early and then defer the rest until after the tournament. Ouch. Real life. Did you pick a college yet? Tell me good news. Well, I like the offers from Stanford and UCLA, but my dad wants me to take the one in Berkeley. He thinks the film and media program would be a good fit. Smart guy? Yeah. But you know, it's so different now. There are tons of opportunities that weren't around when I was coming up. 
Going pro to high school is a real option. Makes you think. So it all comes down to this. The final throw of the Garbage Hoop World Cup. It's all tied up at 36 apiece. Hunter steps up for the win. Pressure's getting to her. Yes! <sighs> Come on! <laughs> Who's that? Hi. Dad. Yeah. Harold. Kim around. Dad. Uh, rematch later? I wish. I've got to study. <sighs> Don't be late for the meeting. De Silva will have you riding shuttles all day. Sir, yes, sir. See, you're making friends. Yeah, that's great. Speaking of which, your brother Colt should make it for the knockout rounds. Oh, if we make it that far. You've already won by just being here. Remember that. Even if you lose, you've won. I'm not just along for the ride, Dad. Yeah, I get that. But don't go putting too much pressure on yourself. 17, Kim. You're still learning. You're still finding your way. I just want to show people what I can do. And you will. Just be patient. It's never been my strong suit. So, made your decision yet? College? Is there another decision? Yeah. I, I mean, no. I, I've been thinking about it a lot, obviously, and... Berkeley looks amazing. Couldn't agree more. But I, I was thinking, uh, more wondering, I guess, um, what if I went pro? I was talking with Alex the other day, and she was saying there's tons pro? of opportunities. Where? What, that Seattle thing? I don't even think they were serious, Kim. They wouldn't have talked to us if they didn't mean it. They was just throwing a hat in early so they'd be top of your mind when you finish college. They aren't expecting you to entertain it. I doubt they want you to. You have to remember that this tournament isn't the be-all and end-all. I have to go to my meeting now.